Statistics show minorities are less likely to become organ donors, but most likely to need an organ transplant. And this is National Minority Donor Awareness Week, and the hope of organizers is to bring attention to the need for more minority organ donors. We are joined by Christina Hernandez of the Nevada Donor Network Community Service Coordinator, and she's with Arlette Valencia, who is an organ recipient. Thank Hello. you both for being here Thanks today. Thanks for having Thank us. We were talking just a few seconds ago about this, this weird setup where uh, minorities um, are not as likely to donate organs, but more mm -hmm. likely to need organs. And my question to you was, is that necessarily a problem? Can uh, someone of a different race donate to someone of another race? Absolutely. So the, really the matching comes down to certain DNA markers that we all possess. And when you have someone who is a donor that is more closely related to the person they are donating to, that decreases the wait time. That 57% of those people currently waiting who are of a multicultural background, mm -hmm. they do need that and that wait time will go down. So it really is in the matching and of course the anti-rejection medication as well as that fear of rejection that goes down as well the closer the match. But of course gender and things like that don't matter but it does help. It improves the odds. Exactly. The Arlette, how long has it been since you had an organ transplant and, and tell us a little bit about your story. I had my transplant in 2015, mm -hmm. um, kidney transplant. So it's been a few years, a couple of years, I guess, you know, four years, and um, I'm still working at it to try to get used to that, mm -hmm. but um, I am in need of another kidney mm -hmm. and a pancreas. So I've had a kidney transplant, but I'm also waiting. For another. I'm one of those people still waiting, yeah. Yeah, and that wait list is, can be frustrating, right? It is, it yeah. is. Um, it's really, it, it, it it just wears you down. I mean, waiting. Just yeah. you never know. You don't know if you're going to get that that gift. That you know, it's a gift for us. Um, right. So we're waiting for that, and you never know if you're going to get that call. And Christina, there are, are thousands and thousands of stories like Arlette's, and that's why this week is so important. Absolutely. There's almost 114,000 people waiting nationally, mm. and it's as simple as someone saying yes. So those average of 22 people that pass away every day waiting don't need to pass away. And it's simple. It's going to the DMV, saying yes, checking yes on that box, registering. Registerme.org if you'd prefer not to have the heart on your license, but ultimately, what a legacy to leave behind to have someone like Arlette be able to have more time with her son yeah. and to be able to live a life that she truly deserves and she is desperately waiting for. Well, it's a great cause. Thank you both so much for being here Thank today. Thank you so really, much really for really having us.